hey, hey, everybody. What's going on? Welcome to my channel, D Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch Gemini. My Gemini. <laughs> What's going on, Gemini? I literally just woke up. That's why it sounds this way. But anyway. Thank you guys for joining me. I love you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Day one, returning people, returning brothers and sisters, new subscribers, all zodiac signs, Gemini especially. I love you. Sending you all love, light, and healing energy. And I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And if you woke up this morning and you're listening to this message, then yeah, I hope you are having a fantastic day. And it is a fantastic day. But, um, hmm. Keep in, mind, keep in mind it's a general message. Okay, I always wake up in a silly, giggly mood, so forgive me. Um, or not. I mean, I'm just like letting you know. I'm always giddy. But anyway, um, keep in mind it's a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody, nobody, somebody. I don't know. But only take what fits for you and leave the rest, okay? And choir, come to the front. One, two, three. Oh, T-Girl, T-Girl. Magic and collective, tea girl, tea girl, tea girl, magic and collective, tea girl, tarot, magic and collective, check us out and see what we're about, ooh, we are Gemini, 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 we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Thank you for struggling through that song with me. Look how I'm late ending the choir. <laughs> anyway, yay, choir, yay. Okay, okay, for real, for real. I'm woke. I really am woke. I just, I just haven't spoken this morning and. You guys are the first people that I speak to, so forgive me, okay? Um, let's go get some uh, messages from your self-help before we get into the message. I don't know what the message is going to be, so let's get some self-help to help us guide us through what we're going to be talking about, okay? Holy Spirit, ancestors, ancestors, ascended masters of the highest white light, pure love. What messages do you have that you want Gemini to know, to have hope? You gotta have, it doesn't say faith, but when I seen this card, I thought about, um, who, what's that man's name? I should know, it's too early in the morning. Michael, you know, that I gotta have faith, 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 baby. You know, you know who Michael, um, you know who I'm talking about, him. He's not here anymore. But, um, I just can't think of his last name. But he's very, very popular, and he ended up, you know, moving out. I think he's a UK artist. Uh, I'm going to look him up because it's, it's bothering me right now. <laughs> it really is. Because I know him. I sing his songs. I grew up to him. I just I don't know why the hell Spirit won't let me remember his name. Okay. I got to have faith artist. Um, I'm sorry, Jen and I, but I'm not. It's bothering me. Y'all put it in the comments who, uh, oh, Mike, George Michael. Thank you. I knew it. I knew I had Michael in it somewhere. But anyway, Archangel Michael, <laughs> I'm not saying he is, but I'm just saying when I got that George Michael, you need to have faith in a situation. Spirit wants you to have faith. Hope is always there, even if you can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help you change a negative situation into a positive one. So have faith, okay, because there is gold at the end of this rainbow. You're a, le you're a leprechaun, me lucky charms type of baby, the earth angel, you see? She's a little girl in the field. And just enjoying life, connecting with the ancestors, connecting with that source. But you see how this light is illuminating, illuminating from this little girl? Okay, because the light is illuminating in you. Stay high vibration because what you want, you are manifesting and it will come to you sooner than you know. Okay, the Holy Spirit is with you with that dove. That's for representation of the light. Okay. And some of you guys have seen, actually, angels. You're spotting angels, okay? And having a spiritual ascension, connecting with angels, talking to angels. It's time to go fairy spotting. It's say that seeing is believing. But really, the fact is, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. 
So have hope, even though you don't see it or how things aren't coming out, panning out your way. Trust and believe that it's coming through, babies. It's coming through. Whatever you feel you lost or you might be feeling lost right, right now, there's a lot of like, you're healing. You're going through a healing phase, okay? Um, but it says, once was, was once was lost is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found fairy, sometimes she can help you find, or sometimes she can help us find things we never realized were even lost. So maybe some of y'all don't know that actually, like, you're not having faith. But I feel like you are, though. But just know that don't lose hope, okay? You feel like maybe some of y'all feel like you missed an opportunity or you lost. Now, it depends on what side of the spectrum you are. Now, if you're on the upright spectrum and you're the earth angel and you're the child of the light, because there is a child of the dark, honey, who feel lost, okay? Um, there's somebody in your energy. Now, this I could be talking to you. There's light and dark up in here. You, uh, high vibe. This is you, high vibrational. You got to be high vibe to be seeing the rainbow, Okay, and somewhere over the rainbow, which this dove is over the rainbow, skies are blue, the blue sky right here. So what is the Spirit trying to show me in that one? Like you're there, the Holy Spirit is leading you to this rainbow. Okay, so you're looking afar, you keep your minds on God, your minds, your mind on God, and you will get there, okay? Somebody else is doing something else in the dark to try to get to the same place you get into, but they're not getting there. Because they're too busy, like they have to see it to believe it. So maybe somebody is looking for, like, they're not letting go. That's what I'm saying. Like, whatever you're manifesting in the right, just know it's already done. Know God's leading you to that. Know you're being led to whatever your little heart's desire is. Act, that if, is, act as if it has already been manifested or it has already been as above, so below. Okay, but because someone else is not seeing the results, they feeling lost and found, and they going to do some dark shit. Please, okay, so if you're an angel, okay, I don't know now, wait. Anyway, what's going on? So ask for help. So if you feel like you're losing hope and losing faith, you need to ask for help and go within. Okay, let the angels are there, the Holy Spirit is right here. That is hope. God is hope, okay? And so ask him for help if you need some help. It says, angels and celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance and know that you are protected. You have a light. You have a team of light, beautiful. See, the Holy Spirit, ancestors, you see that rainbow? They're all around you. They're protecting you, okay? And it says the, the fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring, this rainbow looks like a, 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 a ring, okay? A ring of colors. This is that protection that you're always around or that's always around you. You know, you're the earth angel. It looks like, you know, they're all afar, but they're really not. They're here, even though they look like they're far away. And all you need to do is call out to them and ask for help because they have their hands extended out to you. But all you need to do is ask. Open up your heart chakra. Some of y'all heart is closed up. This is not heart chakra energy. Okay, it's damn near dibbling and dabbling in some dark shit. Mm. To attack an earth angel, Gemini, don't worry. This per who You got somebody spiritually attacking you in the ethers. But don't worry, have hope, know the angels, ask for help. Because really, God, the Holy Spirit is within you and you are the power. The power animates and activates you. So you have to use your God-given gifts of protection when you are being spiritually attacked. Definitely, on this moon energy, this is a new moon phase. I think this is the third day into it, you know. If they start two days or three days before and the same way after. But see, because your intentions are pure, that's why. Just keep your, spirit wants you to keep your intentions pure. Look at you. See, this looks like you. This looks like this little girl in the field, even though I can't see her. It could be a woman now. But I'm picking up an a, a child-like energy. Even if you could be a grown woman, or you are a grown woman, you are very innocent and pure, okay? You're very, you're of the light, okay? This is the light family. Look at all these colors up in here. I love this, because you're about to get a new beginning. Stay where you're at. Don't lose focus, because you will be receiving this new beginning. Whatever you're manifesting, it's going to be a brand new life energy. It's going to give you life. It's going to free up. Um, able you to uh, balance out your life. So if you're in financial lack, whatever this blessing you've been working on is coming towards you, 
and you'll be able to balance out your finances and your and or your love if you're looking for love. That's already in here because love is the highest vibration of all. So you're going to get that, those of you that want that. Um, Spirit's saying, what is what else is going on, Spirit? And to the one that's doing this magic or whoever in the dark, Spirit's telling you it's time for a change. That's why your ass is so desolate and dark and feeling left out in the cold and all of that, okay, you need to have some type of transformation. You need to go within, and you need to enter the temple of truth, and the temple of truth is God in the upright, okay? That's freedom and salvation. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah. But, babies, the reason you're going through all this and being spiritually attacked and all of that, because you're constantly going through a spiritual ascension to awaken all of your spiritual gifts and senses, okay? So you can be benefited by the... um the rights that you have as a, as a citizen of the kingdom. Because, you look, the Holy Spirit is within you. Our angel, you cast a spell with just your very existence. You have to know that you are God. Don't look out him, on the, even though he's everywhere, everything, all places, all times. But you have to realize you're never going to have that experience unless you experience him in you. And by you manifesting what the God gifts that he's giving you to awaken your senses. That could be talking to a fire sign. But somebody is using um, candle magic, for real though, for protection, and that's okay. You're doing that. Somebody's doing candle magic on you, okay, because they don't like the way you're transforming or tra having a transformation. But anyway, whatever you do, baby, keep doing it because you are protected, child, okay? Spirit's telling this other person or giving them it signs and synchronicities that a new strategy is required. They can't keep going. So if, it, if you're the angel of the dark in here... And you doing some fucked up shit and some bullshit. Spirit's telling you, you need it's time to fucking change. Okay? And a new strategy is required because whatever you're doing or you think that you're going to do, it's not going to work because whoever you think that you're attacking is an angel of the light, of the life force, and their intentions are pure. And when intentions are pure and they're vibrating at such a high frequency and a high level, there's no amount of magic that can do that you do can touch them or fuck with them. And that's why your ass feel possibly lost and found. I mean, lost. You thought you found something, but no, you feel lost right now. Because of this moon magic you've been doing on the earth angel, of the, on the Holy Spirit. Okay, so God said a new strategy is required. I'm surprised he didn't take your ass out yet. I mean, he's not that God said yet. Because I was going to say I'm surprised he didn't take your ass out for that. But God is full of mercy and grace. Because, you know, the demons will talk about, well... Well, God's not so graceful in mercy. I, I, no, he doesn't let your ass do this. And the thing is, you can't touch the earth angel, though. But God does have a time where you will be burning in hell, period. Okay? Just saying. And hell is not a geographical location. It's a state of existence or a state of mind or a state of being. And it could be a spiritual location. No, Spirit said it is a spirit. It ain't a geographical location, it's actually a spiritual 5D and up location, depending on the severity of what you've been doing, okay? Because this person is here to neutralize the world, to re-energize the world, okay? Um, they are a natural inner hunter or huntress. And so now you could be taking rest right now and the ancestors are taking you. So you, what you are doing after being spiritually attacked is you're rejuvenating at a quick rate right now. And you're in the middle of some type of rest and you are being protected as you are going through this rest, okay? Um, you might want to, I don't know, the spirits say have courage and stand in your power. Trust and believe you may be not understanding why you're going through what you're going through. And then for some of y'all, the d angel of the dark, y'all you all ask know why you're going through. That's why you're feeling guilty and shameful. But on the other hand, spirits say, you know what, you still have another chance. You do, darkness, okay, unfortunately. I mean, fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know. Everybody's on different levels. But forgive yourself and begin to love yourself. Because that the way you, how you moving is you're not loving on yourself. Because you're attacking something that's love. And if you can't love anybody else unless you love yourself. So you need to awaken your senses too. Because I feel a little pop down coming, like a, a little yeah so anyway what you need to do is open up your heart chakra okay fallen angel whoever you are you need to open up your heart chakra and tear down the walls of your heart whatever grudges you're holding you need to let that shit go because that's not serving you because you're jealous of this earth angel look how beautiful the earth angel is i know <laughs> the darkness got mad oh well you know what i mean very pure innocent but don't let this smooth taste fool you please don't okay 
What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, you keep dreaming how you dreaming, baby. Your dreams are coming true. And Spirit wants you to remember the reason you are being attacked is because you are unique. I know they're like, well, how does that? Because you're chosen. You're called. You're elected. Okay? You can handle that. God needs you to follow the path of your soul. Okay? But that whoever you're attacking, um, darkness... They are unique and they are an age. So I'm talking to somebody that's on the bad side. And I mean, I'm not saying you don't have a chance because the spirit just said you kind of did, but you but you got to make that change. If you don't make that change, then there's going to be, it's not going to end well for you. You need to follow the path of your soul and come to the light, Caroline. Come to the light because your ass is getting out. Are you either are caught up in drama right now, feeling all lost and desolate and depressed and caught up in some drama and shit? Maybe your house burned down, you got caught up in a fire, something about some fire, you done fuck with some fire, and that did not go well. The, re the energy released on your ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, something went wrong somewhere, some magic, okay? You're attacking a pure earth angel, and you feel like if you change your life, you're going to be fake. About no, you ain't being fake. And you To conform is to die inside, but spirits say be brave, because you really like, you really don't... I don't know. I want to know what the problem is between what what is my high vibrational angels? What does Gemini do? What is there because you're just existence of when you being this earth angel? This is irritating to the devil. Your light irritates their demons, and even no matter what type of the dark, desolate times that this person tries to take you or throw at you, you always still come up on top. And they're holding on to some type of grudge. So I don't know what this grudge is that they're holding on to. Um, they want, they want some get back. And what is the pro person's problem, Spirit? Why? Because you done ended a damn, see, this is some dumb, some dumb shit. Because you done ended a damn cycle and held back from this ass. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. And you, you ended a cycle and you held back and you moved on with your life and now you're doing well. And then you laid shit. Yeah. And you, and they, you ended it. You walked away, Jim and I. So they're angry and they feel some kind of way. They feel some kind of way, like, where do I go from here? So it sounds like this person was a codependent. Well, I don't care who they are, family, friends, lovers, codependent people that you walked away from. And you were led to do this. You were led by God with these two major arcanas, the strength. Number one, there's three cards that came out with major arcanas. So this is a big deal. You were led by God. Okay, to have some strength, strength step through because you needed strength in order to walk away from the energy that you closed the cycle out from. It was a faded event. This These chain of events had to be whoever the darkness is. And so you had the nerves to get mad and try to do magic on them because they walked away. From, so you need to heal and you need help. Okay, they had to follow their past soul. What does it say? Yeah, follow the path of their soul. That's what they did because they were led to do that. This is an earth angel. They have a mission. You can't be greedy with no damn earth angel. Earth angels, you notice that people always um, love you being around them and they fight over you low key, high key, low, and then they get jealous when other so-called friends. I'm talking about this is before your spiritual awakening. This is why they, because of the light inside of you, they you were like a moth to the flame burned by the fire and they just could not get enough of you like Lord. And so you walked away and here they go. And then you trying to go down another path, to, you know, because you have worldly duties and justices to do to serve. And they didn't like that shit. OK, so, yeah, they didn't like the way you put that shit down to rest. So they said, OK, you're going to lay me down to rest. I'm going to lay you down to rest. And God said, bitch, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere. And that's where that time for the change to came through. And that's when a new strategy is required because somebody got popped. Spirit, what is the new strategy required? To sit down, okay? You got, it's the new strategy is to Gemini and High Vibe, whoever you are, Earth, Angel, Holy Spirit, to defend yourself. That was the new strategy. Also, maybe at one time you wasn't defending yourself, but now you're sitting here defending yourself ever since you had this transformation. And you stand in. And you're very defensive and you're investing in yourself and these people are sad. So I don't know if they can, you can do, you, I don't think you, they need help. God need to come down and help them. So uh, this is a message where I guess with the fallen and the, and the chosen ones, the chosen ones, you keep doing what you're doing, baby. You know, you unique. You always have been different. Okay. Some of y'all hair could be pink. Some of it could be green. Okay. Some of it could be blue. 
I mean, they're just all different varieties. Earth angels come in different shapes, sizes, and colors, okay? And whoever you are, you're just beautiful. And these people just can't, they can't, a lot of people just stare at you. You can walk in a room and they just keep looking at you. And you're like, what the fuck is you looking at? But you really don't say that. That's what you think. <laughs> you know? But um, Spirit said, continue to do what you're doing, earth angels. Follow your path. Follow the path of your soul. And always keep good intentions, okay? Um, the drama could be almost over a little bit for some of you. Not all of you. Just depends on where area or what state you are in. But um, right now, what's the outcome for these fallen angel spirit? Ooh, they under judgment. Some type of judgment right now for whatever they've been investing. And now they want to come forward and say something to you. So I don't know, Gemini. I just feel you keep walking away. Don't let anybody... They're just, they're caught up in drama right now is the real reason. Because number one, you're going through a spiritual ascension, a spiritual blossoming, okay? And you're protected. You have a whole team of angels around you protecting you. And these people then cause they ask some drama trying whatever they've invested in. And so now they're under spiritual judgment. That's what I'm getting from this King of Swords energy. You're under, not, oh, I could have said you, so it could be you in the dark side. But um, somebody under spiritual judgment... What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, they are facing karma. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Okay, because they done tried to attack the earth angel. Lord, have mercy. Father, forgive them and help them. Yeah, they tried to do some conflict and chaos magic and try to cause endings and cause a hard time for you, whatever your investments. So Spirit had to step in and stop all this foolishness, okay? And these people are heartbroken or this person is heartbroken over it. Oh, my God, they need it. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, some of y'all on the on the dark, and I'm not saying you're like, okay, I don't know. Take it however it go, because I can't keep apologizing for how people's insecurities and triggers get. get. Now, if you're on the light and you on, and you know and you can admit, because that's part of repenting, okay, repenting to get the Holy Spirit. That's part of saying, Father, forgive me for I knew not what I did, and I want to be one with you, in you, as you, and actually move in according to do what he says do, not just talk with your mouth and do lip service. Because some of the dark demons do lip service, and God ain't hearing that shit, because God already knows your heart, okay? But anyway, for those that are, like, in that transformation, coming out of the dark into the light, you still have hope, baby, okay? So you keep moving on your pathway. Follow your soul's pathway because you are on the right path. You could have the devil telling you that you're not good enough or give up or whatever, but Spirit said don't listen to the devil. Have hope. Keep moving forward, okay? That's the spiritual entity telling you to stop. But some of them got spiritual entities that's telling them to do bad shit and they don't give a fuck and their heart is seared and they don't even think about changing. They're blocked and guarded towards change even though God's telling them a new strategy is required. These motherfuckers is about to burn in hell. And I'm just saying because it's the fact the energy that they resonate in or they operate in, um, the frequency... See, that's part of God. So I don't know, depending on some frequency can burn the shit out of you and then some frequency can heal you and save you and make you and put you in a better place. So hell is, like, like I said, it's not a geographical location or anything like that because God is all in all. It's a state of existence. You know, you could be living on earth and going through hell right now. Okay? And you can be or heaven or heaven and you didn't die to get there. So even when you die, you don't have to die to get to heaven or hell. You're already there. It's your mind, okay? So Gemini, woo, I don't know who that was for. It was for somebody, so take it how it goes. My babies, keep hope. Keep moving forward. Don't lose hope. If you need help from God and the Holy Spirit, he is always here. I'll be there. And I'm going to end the reading right there. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.